Okay, welcome to the next tutorial. Um, this time I will show how to make your own menu. So we are just basically doing it from scratch. First things first with the menu. We have all the menus here. I might as well just do a copy of the base menu. But when we are making a new menu, go to the menu manager in IC Game Editor, create a new menu, and then we can name it. Let's say pause menu. Okay. What we want to do for a pair type on input key. Toggle key would be menu. That's already uh, defined in our input manager. Position centered, size, manual. We will have to give it some size so it, we will see it. The yellow lines show the size or the borders of the menu. 50 by, I don't know, 100? No, that's too much. 70. Okay, yeah, we have a great menu here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. 30 by 70, seems fun. Um, we could add a background, background texture here. We don't really have any that we could use for this menu here, but you could have your own custom menu. I'm just going to find the black pixel here and it just or maybe the gray one is better. Because it's a bit transparent, so it's better, yeah. Transition type, if you want some, we can have many kinds of transition types. Fade, for instance. Let's put a 0 0.3, let's say. Transition time and the transition animation can be linear. Then we will add our buttons. Let's add the first button here. There are also many different types of elements you could add. Toggle, timer, slider, saves list, profiles list, label, journal, inventory box, interaction, input, graphic, drag, dialog list, cycle, crafting, and then the button. Um, I'm sure this might be quite complicated for, at first, but like most of these are used in these uh, pre made menus and uh, you just have to go and look at them and see how they work and make your own menus based on these. Like you could easily use the crafting menu as a base for your own crafting menu, for example. But okay, the first button. Let's put a resume button and change the text. Just resume. Position should probably be relative to menu size aligned it just um, was it about this aligned center it doesn't it, this is the whole menu I want it to be centered and the size if I change the size to be same in width as the menu and then relative to menu size so 0 and 0 it will be fine I think a little bit bigger put on here Text color white is fine. We will put it a bit more gray when it's not active. We can choose the font here to whatever we want. We don't have many to use at this point. We can choose the size of the text here. Three is fine for us, I suppose. So basically what the resume button does, choose clip type, just turn off menu to do the transition. Sure, this just turns off our pause menu. Might as well change the height a bit more. Like 10 maybe. Yeah. Big good old resume button. Also we could use the click background and highlight textures. Highlight texture shows when you hover over the button. Background is always in the back and click is when you click the button. There are also text effects you could have. Outlines. Shadows. Outline dance shadow. It doesn't show for us because we have a dark background here, but we don't need any. Okay, that's our first button. What would be smart to do with these buttons? They're probably gonna be similar, so we're going to copy the resume button. And then we just move it down a bit, like 15 or something like that. I think it's fine. This would be our... Buttons button. 
options and then we would have to do crossfade for example you can do these uh, menu changes in different types if you don't want to use crossfade you could also do run an action list and do your own custom like fade things and to change the menus how, however you want to do them but this is the most simple one and change menu to options now that we have actually the new pause menu we might as well delete the old one because it will conflict with our pause menu it will open them both if they both have a toggle key on input key with the menu button let's just delete that and work with this so yeah basically that's everything there is to the options we just change menu to options copy that paste that and we want to have the uh, same amount of space between every button so 30 and this button would be save button and it changes to the menu save it's good to have a good uh, naming convention here and it's simple as that then we will paste another load button load load these menus are pre-made for us but the, you would have to add menu switch these names to be whatever your menus are named move it down not 30 but uh, 45 paste yet another button 60 this would be quit button and this will just run an action list there should be a pre-made quit button it's a wider one of these I think this is a default action list this is an UI thing let's see what it does it just ends the game I believe this is the same I think I guess it's just an asset file and we should use probably to be able to modify our quit like for example we probably should do like a camera fade out and also music fade out we don't have any music for now but you know it would uh, look a lot better if the game doesn't just abruptly shut down half a second fade out and music fade out is, is like fine okay um our menu doesn't like look very cool because we have a bunch of empty space here but that doesn't really matter also what you can do is you could use a hover sound i haven't used hover sounds but it just plays a sound when you hover over a button but I will add the click buttons sound click sound button click every time you click this button this sound plays and I believe for this to work correctly you need to have a default sound in your scene okay let's see let's play the game press esc and we have our new menu here resume you can hear the click sound and the menu shuts down options we have all our options menu pre-made menus back here but we have those here and quit shuts down the game this is for example is Aragon Tales pause menu i have these graphics here and the same buttons basically options and save menus get a bit more complicated but it's just basically you have to have a saves list in your save menu for example to have the list of the saves and stuff like that a lot of these, thi these things are like pre-made for you and you can just modify them so it should be pretty easy to get to working with that okay that's a simple menu tutorial i hope it helps um Fiddle around with the settings and see what kind of different things you can add here. It really helps. 
And when you start making a game, you should go through all of these pre-made menus that you have.